A simple example is for a lot of people who are a bit more socially isolated, they don't have someone to really talk to, so they might go a full day without speaking, but in the morning, you go wake up and Romeo will say, good morning. And when you're back from work, Romeo will say, welcome home. And then you can always ask Romy questions. And in, unlike something like, well, unlike a normal AI that might just answer a question, Romy will actually converse with you. So something like, Romy, I got some bananas today. Wow, they look great. Let's eat them together. Romy's actually uh, been proven to help people who are more socially isolated, anxious, and lonely because we worked with the uh, local governments in Japan to bring Romy to nursing homes. It's been very popular there. So hopefully we can help people out who are a bit more socially isolated. Romy has two actuators. Romy can rotate left and right and up and down. So Romy can nod. And if someone's speaking in the room, Romy can face them so you can speak face to face. Romy also has a nice little camera here. It doesn't save any image data. It actually saves what it sees as text only when prompted. So you say something like, hey Romy, look at this. And that'll be used in its conversations because it has a long-term memory. It's, uh, the problem is scaling care, right? Um, and if, if society isn't willing to pay for it, and if you can't find the people that are willing to do the work, um, you need an alternative. And uh, it's a funny thing in human psychology that that AI doll or robot might be able to do the trick and fill that hole. And if, if that can be done, that's a great thing. That's a win for everybody.